Hello. From Antigua. We are here at Sandals Antigua. Well, what's the official name? Let the me get this right here. The official name is Grand Antigua Resort and Spa. Sandals Grand Antigua Resort and Spa. This is the only Sandals location here on the island of Antigua. And we're here today to show it to you. We have a day pass for us to tour the property, get to know it a little bit better. We're gonna see some rooms in a little bit, which is super exciting. And yeah, just to see what this resort has to offer and to show you guys. Exactly, now you can purchase a day pass yourself for use at Sandals Resorts, but because we're travel agents and they want us to see it so we can sell it, they give it to us complimentary. So we are, our cruise ship stopped here in Antigua, so we're gonna do this for our excursion today. So we hope you'll come along and join us. So here at the front, the main entrance where you pull in, cabs drop you off, or resort shuttle, or airport shuttle, drop you off here under the Port of Kashir and the beautiful landscape gardens. And you turn around, and it just begins the beautiful layout design so pretty. very gorgeous so right when you come in on the left that is the front desk over there where you can check in get all that squared away and a pair of macaws samson and delilah so across from the front desk they do have the luggage service here and a stairwell that goes up not sure what that is yet we'll check that out later but they do have some pool tables or billiards if you prefer on this side and of course, this is all open air, right out to the ocean. So this is just nice breeze flowing through, yeah. lovely weather. And to give you an idea, here's, a, here's the map. This is where we're at, right here. Yep. So as you can see, it's a really, really big resort. So this is the Caribbean Beachfront Village main lobby that we're in right now. Um, but there's another lobby all the way over here for the Mediterranean Ocean View Village. So we'll probably go over there later, but I just want to let you know where we're at right now. So they have an adventure tours desk that's like basically like a shore excursion if you're on a cruise. You can do those different kind of activities with sandals. Now, m almost all of the activities at the resort are included. Yes. So um, just to give you an idea, alcohol is included, food, dining is included, um, water sport activities are included. The only thing that is not included water sport wise is scuba diving. They do have equipment available for free. Um, it's just if you're not certified, you have to pay to get certified in order to scuba dive. But if you are already um, certified to scuba dive, you can use the equipment for free. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Like snorkeling, kayaking, all kinds of stuff. Bill, I mean, it's all included. Really, with sandals, it's the most all-inclusive thing you can pretty much get. Yeah. I know you hear all-inclusive nowadays, but then really it's like, oh, but I gotta pay for this and this and this. Sandals is one of those ones where, no, they actually mean all-inclusive. But the point being is that if you book uh, an excursion or an activity yes. that's off property, they'll take you there, but you'll have to pay for that. Yeah, because that that's separate. Be that's separate, and no tips. No tips. You'll see people wearing the buttons that say, our smiles are included. <laughs> no, tips. no tips, please. So coming through, then we have the bar right in the middle, goes out to the ocean. And on the right, we have the Courtyard Bistro, and we also have the Bayside Buffet, where we ate breakfast earlier. Yeah, we um, we had breakfast right when we got here, and um, we took some footage of that, and we'll put that in right now. This is the view from the Bayside Buffet, right out to the beach. Gorgeous. And this is the restaurant itself, where we're having breakfast before we begin our tour here in about an hour's time. So this is the outdoor seating area and then the food's inside. So let's go have a look at that. All right, so we have some oatmeal, cream of wheat, different toppings, bacon, sausage, scrambled eggs, I'm not gonna open everything. Honey roasted ham, Parmesan tomato, baked beans, French toast with rum syrup, blueberry topping, caramel sauce, and they also have regular pancake syrup. And then here we have meats and cheeses, salami, and some pepper jacks, some smoked cheese. Looks like they usually have ham too, but it's not there. Over here at the hot area, we have some boiled egg. They're cooking them up back there. Salsa, ketchup, jalapeno for condiments. Make you a smoothie right here at the smoothie station. Tomato, boiled egg, and then different toppings here as well. Dill pickle, chopped egg, sour cream, onion, lime, capers. Man, have some grab and go cereals here with full cream milk or low fat milk. And then assorted yogurts from the ice. They're plain over, you can scoop. And then ready to go, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, orange juice. 
have some other fresh fruit, bananas and watermelon and cantaloupe, oranges, lots of different things there. And then a grab and go Danish suction, toast, bread, they have bagels, you can get all the different toppings, jams and cream cheese and all that stuff, orange marmalade with the toaster right here. So very nice selection. And look at that view. And I'd... Uh, I, oh, oh, you mean this? How do you like your food? It's very good. What, um, I got the French toast, and it was like baguette French toast, and it's really, really good. Oh, see, I avoided it because it was like that. I was like, eh, what's this? I like it. I like the heartier bread. I got bacon, sausage, cereal, pancakes, and sticky bun, and it's all good. The day is made. There's a cat. Hi, sweetie. Come here. I don't have food, but I love you. So there you go, that was delicious. It was really good. Enjoyed that, they also have some coffee right there available to grab. And then on this side they have Eleanor's, which is kind of more of like an upscale restaurant uh, for evening dining. This one actually has a little bit more of a dress code. We'll talk about that maybe a little bit later, but that's right here. Next to that is the Crystal Lounge, and that's where we're gonna go right now because our tour is about to start. Yeah. So we're gonna meet up with our guide and get going. <laughs> And we see why this is called the Crystal Lounge. It's a nice little lounge in here. It's, it's pretty big. It's, I like how everything has windows outside, like the open air view and stuff. It's nice. So before our tour gets started here, he actually gave us a resort fact sheet. These are the things that are available at an additional charge. So if you go to uh, like the spa and get uh, you know spa treatment done, they also have uh, shops where you can buy things. They have a jewelry store. So obviously if you buy anything, that's gonna cost. Uh, there's resort free, uh, free resort wide Wi-Fi, but you can get a premium internet suitable for streaming video, Skype, and larger downloads for an additional fee. Of course, if you do any of the adventures or do laundry, private transfers anywhere, or if you get a photo package, those are all additional charges. But we are gonna be hopping around a lot. So, um, so I'm sorry if it's a little confusing directionally, um, but I wanna show you as much as we see. Um, but then when we get done, we'll tour ourselves and we'll try to explain some stuff a little bit more. Right off the main entry and lobby way, now head into Club Sandals Lounge. Good morning. So this is the Club Level Lounge. So we've just been informed, 94% occupancy right now. Wow. I wouldn't guess it though. No, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe everyone's still asleep? <laughs> maybe. It's been calm and quiet and peaceful and we've hardly seen anyone. It's nice, but I mean this place is big. Yeah. Look at this. Honeymoon Grand Lux, walk out, Club Level. HWGB. 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 Anybody can use them. And you also have a view of the wedding gazebo. Being in a club level room, you now have access to an in suite alcoholic bar, which is completely complimentary. As well as a mini fridge, oh, wow. which is fully stocked. Nice. So if it's not concierge, then it doesn't come stocked. Yay! Just like in Jamaica. I love it. Where are we heading? To the spa. Red Lane Spa. Red Lane Spa. Oh. Let's enjoy the foliage. Landscaping on our way. So in addition to the Ooh. public pools, this is also part of the Red Lane Spa. You have a hot tub, a cold tub, and a whirlpool. And it's all complimentary as well. Here is the Red Lane Spa. Oh. 
<laughs> Going to the relaxation area. Females this way, males this way. This is the relaxation area. Into the Red Lane Fitness Center, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. All right, so there's two main sections. There's the weight section and the cardiovascular section over there. Punching bag, nice. Yeah, I want to get on that bag. <laughs> Go a couple rounds. Ooh, that looks tasty. So two areas. This is the cardio area, and that is the weight area. The fitness center slash gym. So just over next to the fitness center is the tennis courts. Very large. Lots of beautiful flowers, lots of birds chirping. Oh, it's so, so pretty. So apparently there's three restaurants that require reservations. Eleanor's, which is the one we showed you at the front, that requires okay. evening attire. Yes. Kimono's, which is where we're heading right now, which uh -huh. I believe is the Japanese restaurant. And we don't know the third one yet. <laughs> it's a mystery. But we'll find out. <laughs> but I think Eleanor's is the only one that requires the special attire in the evening. Right, did they say what the what the attire was yeah long pants like you can have jeans but no like shorts no t-shirts no like um i think it'd be like dress sandals or nicer shoes okay stuff gotcha. like that it's on the information too how about this let's just do a quick spin around and show you everything sorry it's a little quick we gotta keep it moving but look at this this is kimonos the japanese cuisine So this part is kimonos, the hibachi, and then the cream colored building is actually soy, the sushi bar. Both right here. Uh, soy does not require reservations, kimonos does. So again, this is the main entrance where we came over earlier, for, again for the Caribbean beach side of the resort. Not the Mediterranean, that's the big tall buildings we'll be going to later that has its own lobby. Do you hear all the birds? They just keep cheaping and they're like colorful too. It's so nice and quiet. Pool and hot tub right by some of the different rooms. So that's the building by the pool. Those rooms are kind of like motel style. But it looks like they also have like little chalets here. Don't know what kind of room type it is, but they look private. Two main pools here at the resort. One on each side. Distinguished by the swim up bar. That's how you tell it's the main pool. So this is the main one for the Caribbean side. Correct. Yeah. And there's the swim up bar right there. Very nice looking. And there's a popcorn machine. What? Right there. I love that. <laughs> so we a big hot tub there, swim up bar, and then it goes out over to the main area as well. So again, one of two main pools. So right when we enter this square here, we have Colombian Intervals, which is the on-site jewelry store. The Sandals Loyalty and Travel Booking Center, which is basically like Sandals' version of a next cruise desk. Get a discount on your next day in your travel. We have the resort shop across that sells all the Sandals merchandise and souvenirs. We have Snapshots, which is where you can get your photos and video packages done there. Cafe de Paris, right across where you get Parisian pastries and coffees. And the boutique at Sandals, which also sells clothes and merchandise. And now we're going to go inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a different Dodo game. How to play snooker. There is also Snicker. Snooker. <laughs> I would just not play because that's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> So instructions on how to play snooker, I guess, which is that. But then we have two billiards tables and a dartboard. I like this spot. It's cool. It's like a dark wood pub. And over here is the art of the drunk 
Drunken Duck Pub. It's like a tavern. Category LV, the highest category on property. Yes, services. Alright, welcome to an LV. This is on page four, yes, at the top. This is the, again, the highest category room on property. And it's private with a plunge pool that we'll see in just a minute here. Whoa, nice waterfall. This is straight from your bed, you can hop directly. <laughs> <laughs> Way to wake up. Plunge pool in a hot tub. You got some cheese loungers that go into the water. It's like a zero entry. You even have an umbrella with table and chairs. So that room as well as some of the other rooms they have here on property are butler level, which means a butler service is included with the room and you also get 24 hour room service as well as upgraded alcohol and drinks inside the room in your little mini bar. So good to know, look for that. Made our way back out to the main beach area. Jet skis, kayaks, hobby cats. This is where you go snorkeling, do your water activities, loungers. They got fire pits, it looks like. Probably light those up at night. Look at this view. What? What? I do believe this is one of the wedding gazebos on property. And there's, a, there's more than one. There's, Several. Not in a bad spot though. No, no, not at all. This end of the beach is the water sports area, dive shop. That's where you arrange all those different activities snorkeling, diving, hobby cats, kayaks. The fun stuff. All the fun stuff down there. It looks like there's a bar over there as well. And then this is the hopping area. We're over in the Mediterranean Village area now. And uh, this is where the people are. We didn't see so many people back in the Caribbean side. I think it's more like quiet and uh, spread out over there. This is a big, big pool. This is a big, big, big pool. And obviously, we see the swim up bar. This is the other main pool. Remember, yeah. we said there were two. This is the Mediterranean side one. Oh, you can even go up this Mediterranean tower and lounge up there. Very cool. So right here by the Mediterranean pool, they have these cabanas you can rent for $115 per day, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Butler service, drinks, food, anything you want, be brought to your poolside here. Oh my God, this resort is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So you have the croquet club right here. You can play some croquet out on this lawn under this gorgeous tree. And then over there is Mario's, which is buffet during breakfast and Italian fare in the evening for dinner. Ooh, look at that gazebo. That's nice. It's a little bigger. Yeah. Ooh, there's like pods growing from this tree. Man, this building is huge. So it seems to be like the Mediterranean's a little more opulent, a little fancier maybe, a little more ornate. And of course, the Caribbean, as you would expect, is more laid more back, that. natural. It's a reflection pool here. And the reflection pool gazebo across used for different special events. And the pizzeria right here is custom order, made to order pizzas, freshly oven baked. So two main buildings for the Mediterranean. This one is seven stories, Cypress building, and this one is five stories, the Almond building. And we're gonna, they said, he said they share similar room categories. We're going to the top floor of the Almond building right now to see Butler Suite, I think? Yeah. So that'll be fun, up the elevators. And there's Anthem of the Seas. Over there, our cruise ship, we can see it from here. Yeah. Category P.O. Romeo and Juliet Love Nest Suite.
directly over here is about the pantry. Same style bathroom as the other one. The walk in shower, window, rain shower head, sink vanity area, water closet. So this room has the largest balcony. Nice ceiling fan, four posts of it. Oh, adorable. Nice big Samsung sitting area. Wow. Nice that is. It gets better the higher the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow. Butler's pantry. Look at this. Wet bar, coffee, microwave, drinks. So it's a storage closet. Let's have a look at the balcony. We've got cheese lounges over here. Looks like a towel rack. My goodness, this view. Great view of the resort. You see the mountains over there and the cliffs down by the water. Very calm waters out there. Just see the rest of the resort. All the landscaping. Very nice. So this looks like the main lobby and landing and check-in area of the Mediterranean village side. So we saw the club sandals lounge on the Caribbean side. This is the one on the Mediterranean side. Notice this lounge is a lot larger than the one on the Caribbean side. Yeah. Open air on this one. The Caribbean side was air conditioned, but this one is larger. Resort tour complete. Got to see some quality rooms there. I know, when well, we saw the highest the one. The highest one. The second room that we looked at. It's always the nice. One. Um, and we found out it's the OK Corral. It's the third restaurant that requires reservations. Yes. OK Corral, Eleanor's, and... Kimono's. Kimono's. You need reservations, but they're complimentary. You don't have to pay. Just, um, just limited availability, so you have to make reservations. And OK Corral, we showed you Eleanor's and uh, Kimono's. OK Corral was right above the main bar when we first came in. Right. Right where we checked the check-in desk area on the Caribbean side, out to the ocean. There was a top part of the tower. That was OK Corral. Oh, that breeze is wonderful. <laughs> We're free to explore on our own now and take in everything the resort. And when we did this in Montego Bay, Jamaica, we were not prepared. We came kind of dressed up. We yeah. didn't bring any bathing suits or anything. And they're like, what are you doing? That's what the sandals people said. Uh, yeah. They're like, what are you guys doing? You gotta, you can do whatever anyone You have to does. enjoy yourself. So, so we so, will now. So just so you know, if you do get a day pass, you can do anything that someone staying here can do. You just don't have a room to go to. That's it. So we are going to get ready to hit the water maybe and check out some other fun stuff, fun activities they have here Bad. on property and do a little bit more looking around and see what we can get into. All right, here's our map of Grand Antigua sandals that we've just toured the whole resort here. So right here is where we started. This is the main lobby area check-in for the Caribbean village side. Mm -hmm. So that's where we started everything, or Caribbean beachfront, I should say. Caribbean beachfront village is the full name. So that's where we started, and that's like where Eleanor's was, and the OK Corral, the Bayside Buffet, all of that stuff. So that's where we started. We came over here, and I think this is where we saw the first room in one of the buildings here. In the Red Lane Spa. In the Red Lane Spa, and the tennis courts, all that was in this area. Then we kicked out front, and up here this is soy and kimonos, just by itself there in the Japanese architectural style buildings. And remember, kimonos is one of the ones that you have to make a reservation for, and it's right there. Kimonos, Eleanor's, OK Corral. Those yes. are the three with reservations. Correct. Eleanor's is the only one that requires evening wear. Everything else is resort cash. Correct. So we've toured that, and then we came back down towards the front entrance here, and we kicked through, kind of wound our way, and then right around here is where we saw that, like, the higher, the highest end room. Yes. The, like, it was like a little chateau, the little private one with the plunge pool. Yes. That was in that area. The main pool for the Caribbean beachfront village side is here. So we toured through there, then we kicked down, 
came back down by the beach and then this is where we picked up that was the water sports area we showed you there mm -hmm. and then this was the main pool for the mediterranean side right here is also where we saw those cabanas that you could pay 115 extra for to have butler service and things like that and that was the mario's italian and the pizzeria was all right here and then we went up into this building the almond building and that's where we went to the top floor and that was the last room we showed and then we walked across into the cypress building where we showed the club sandals for that side so just wanted to give you like a little directional um showing on the map because i know we were hopping around a lot and and stuff like that because we pretty much saw all the main stuff and um this resort is so huge that we couldn't go each we wouldn't be able to do each item in the amount of time that we're here and show no. you in full detail but just to kind of use the map and show you about where we are <laughs> uh, one thing we weren't shown that i didn't even know they had here but i just see it on the map uh, admiral lord nelson's ballroom so we actually have a breakdown on that that's your meeting conference and banquet space oh, okay so it doesn't sound like it's a very large overly large uh, meeting space but they do have it here there is something available so. cool um, looking at the map though, looking at the description, I think we pretty much saw basically just about everything else. So yeah. at least showed you where they were or what it was. Even if we didn't go inside of it, you know that it's here and that's the offering. Yeah, so lots and lots and lots of stuff. Ah, one thing we weren't shown on our tour, I think you kind of just pointed to it, but we didn't hear, is Barefoot by the Sea. This is a dining venue, uh, I've, the name suggests, by the sea, right here on the beach. And it's sandy, and I'm messing me, you can go barefoot, as the name would suggest, too. Yeah. But you can see they have the tables, and they're covered and stuff. So that's another dining venue, of course, included. So it's right next to the water sports area and by the Mediterranean main pool. Yep, so there's the swim-up pool bar for the Mediterranean main pool. There's one of the wedding gazebos we pointed out, and the beach goes back down that way to the Caribbean side. And then right at the end of the resort, because there's a fence right there, that's the end of the resort on this side. And then, like Chelsea said, the water activities area is over there as well. You want to go look at the water activities? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So this is the water sports and activities area. So right over there is the aqua center. I think that's where you can check in and get different kinds of equipment. And there's also a scuba pool over there. That's where they will train and certify you to scuba dive. Mm. You see they have the different life jackets. There's kayaks there. They have the Hobie cats. They have the little windsurfing things. They got the little tiny sailors. They got jet skis. Looks like they even got floating loungers out there. And stand up paddle boards wow and then a uh, nice seating areas out on the rocks over there so you see all kinds of stuff this is where it's hopping and then they have these boats that will take you out to the snorkeling and scuba diving areas included yeah it's included your boat ride out to the snorkeling area is included now they only do it during certain times of the day like i think for an example they had a nine o'clock session and a two o'clock session so just keep in mind that you can only snorkel during certain times of the day all right now we're gonna enjoy the resort ourselves uh -huh. we're gonna change clothes get our bathing suits on probably switch over to the gopro and i don't know hit the beach hit the pool hit something we'll see all right changed switched over to the gopro Look, they even opened up a hot dog stand also wanted to point out that they have some water sports vendors that are towards the end of the resort here that aren't sandals they're out you know third party and there was a sign back there, sandals recommended, of course, for your safety and whatnot, that you only use sandals authorized sure. vendors. Now, someone told your dad that jet ski was not included here, but I don't know if they were talking about sandals jet ski or someone else jet ski or what, so. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. So I think I figured out what's going on here is that there's third party vendors walking up and down the beach. We've been approached three or four times now about jet skis or horseback riding or stingray city or this that and the other so and their shirts say like dickinson bay water sports which oh, is okay. the area this sandals is in dickinson bay so i think that's the the confusion there is that they're offering all that stuff and that's why they had that sign that said we recommend you only use sandals water sports and activities so the jet skis are third party which is why they're not included right okay that, that makes sense that seems to be the case here so still the case is scuba diving is the only extra 
activity you pay for with sandals. Right. Now, if you go to a third party, obviously you're going to have to pay more, which seems like what the, that's what the jet skis are. So yeah, they're offering the third party stuff, the, the excursions and things like that, but the other sandal stuff is included. So okay, clear well, that, that, up. that makes sense. Yeah, it's pretty cold. It's a little cold. It is January though. Yes, it is January. Uh, well, no, actually today is February 1st. Oh, happy February. Now we can see a whole resort. So this is the main area where we first came in. That's the OK Corral I said was upstairs. That's it up there. So that was the third place that required reservation. Eleanor's was the other one. The only place that required the evening wear. And then back over there, you can't see it, is Kimono's. That was the third place that needed a reservation. Caribbean Village side, rooms and all that stuff, the buffet right there. And then the Mediterranean Village side down there with the main pool. Water Sports Center down there where you see the sails that say sandals on them. All that good jazz. But in case you were thinking about snorkeling right off the beach, I just want to show you. It's murky. It's great for swimming. It's clear enough for like swimming and like just having a really, really beautiful beach day, but too, too murky for your snorkel. Yeah, so if you're going to snorkel, recommend just go on the excursion. It's free. It's yeah. on the, I keep calling it an excursion. It's not really an excursion because you pay for those, it's an activity. Okay, Matt's going to show us his best sandals commercial running from the water shot. Oh. Go. All right, back over on the cannon now. Back on dry land. A nice dip in the ocean water there. We're going to head over here to your Mario's, the Italian place. There's a pizzeria right next door. So we're going to Grab us a slice. Actually, I think it's a pie. Individual pies. I'm not sure. We'll find out. This day just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Here we are. From a Napoli. Or Bea Napoli. Pizzeria. Take a look at the menu here. There's the fire. They're cooking the pizzas back there. Hot and fresh. Two pizzas. Yours? Um, uh, it's, it's basically pepperoni calabrese. Oh, yeah. Is what it's technically called, but it's, it's, it's basically pepperoni. <laughs> yeah, and mine has a funny name too, but it's pepperoni and sausage. All right, we're going to do a take two on the pizza because we need to try this stuff so you guys know if it's any good it's this is for hard, you it's such a hard life right doing it's this for you here, man eating two pizzas but check out the boxes they're fun Anopoly, yeah. and it's a sandals and beaches which beaches is a family version of of sandals because sandals is adults only 18 and up persona so non grata, grata. <laughs> the beaches is, a, is the family okay. version of the, of the same resort. Exactly. Yeah. So. But the pizza was so good, we decided to try another one. And Ooh, look at yours. Fancy. I don't remember what mine was called. It started with an F, but it has... It was basically like, you know, you like get like Florentine, and that means span, uh, spinach. Like It was like Florentine or Fiorentine, da, 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 da. Yeah. something like that. So it has um, spinach, ricotta, and mozzarella, and it did come with tomatoes, but I didn't get that. And you got... The Vincent Gambini. No, it wasn't that, <laughs> but it was something like that. And mine came with tomatoes, I extinct as well, but it has shrimp, basil, cheese, and red pepper. We moved over to like the shopping kind of area because we were sitting in the sun and it was kind of hot and um, we might get ice cream afterwards, which Ooh. is right here at the Cafe de Paris. 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 Yes. So yeah, we moved over here and it's nice. It nice, is nice. Nice and calm and shaded and... Quiet, out of the sun. Yeah. Time for some za. More za. Gonna head inside the Cafe de Paris and grab us a scoop or two. So you have vanilla, chocolate, coconut, rum and raisin, strawberry, and strawberry sorbet. And they have cupcakes, other sweet treats. 
Ooh, and a whole toppings bar. Cinnamon sugar, walnut, coconut flakes, caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, marshmallow, white chocolate, dark chocolate, pecan, almond, cherry, pineapple, apple, raisins, and peanut butter. Anyway, you can do all of that? The works? You got it. They also have some cookies here. Grab and go. Oatmeal, raisin, chocolate chip, and they had coconut drop gluten free, but that's gone. How's the sorbet? Delicious. I got strawberry and it's really good. Yeah, you got strawberry sorbet and they had strawberry ice cream as well. Yeah, I got the sorbet. It's, it's good and refreshing and delicious. I got vanilla, threw some cinnamon sugar on top of it. I hadn't had it yet, but I did have an oatmeal raisin cookie and it was incredibly soft and chewy. Good. It's Very a nice, good. It's a nice little sweet treat spot. And I think they do crepes in there for breakfast. It looked like they had the thing. Yeah, so that's fun. All right, guys, that's just gonna about wrap everything up here. We wanna thank Sandals for letting us tour around today and letting us learn more about the property and experience it some. We really enjoyed it and got lots of new information. That's right, got to see those different rooms, got to try some of the food, hit the beach, so enjoy it all. Play with the cats, my favorite part of the day. Love this spot they got here on Antigua with the with the blue and green water and the, the mountains and the palm trees and the cliffs all around it and just the luxurious foliage and, yeah. and uh, landscaping they have here on the resort itself. It's really top notch. Yeah, it's beautiful. So glad we could see that today and glad we could share it with you guys before we head back to our cruise ship. I know we can't show every square inch because we're only here for a limited amount of time. We're not staying overnight. But I hope this kind of gave you an, an idea of what this property is all about and what you can expect from your stay here. Absolutely, so hopefully you enjoyed it. And if it's always, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you're interested in booking a trip to Sandals, we have them all over the Caribbean. Yeah. Or hey, if you want to bring the family, like we mentioned earlier, there is beaches as well, all inclusive, but for families. Reach out to us via the travel agent information at the end of this video. We'd love to help plan that for you. And like I said, many different locations. Bahamas, Jamaica, here in Antigua, St. Lucia where we'll be at tomorrow. There's Barbados, everywhere. Yeah. So we can look into those for you. Help get that plan and booked. And as always, our services are complimentary, no cost to you. So we'd love to help make that happen. Until next time though, we're gonna sign off from this sandals here in Antigua. A bright, beautiful, sunny day. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy travels! travels.